Whenever a user makes a request to the server, be it get, post, put, or delete, the server needs to interact with MongoDB to perform the required operation. And for this interaction, we make use of Mongoose. Mongoose is just another NPM package that provides MongoDB object mapping. Or in simpler words, Mongoose translates the data in the database to a JavaScript object for use in our application. There are alternatives like MongoJS and native Mongo client, but Mongoose is quite simple once you understand how it works. So to install Mongoose package, go back to Visual Studio Code. In the terminal, within the server folder, type the command npm install dash dash save mongoose. Now if you remember, I just mentioned that data or a document in MongoDB is represented as a JavaScript object. So first, we need to have a blueprint or a schema of that object. So in the server folder, create another folder and name it models. Within the models folder, create a file called user.js. Now within this file, first require mongoose that was just installed. Next, get an instance of the mongoose schema. Const schema is equal to mongoose.schema. The next step, create a new schema for the user data in MongoDB. Const user schema is going to be a new schema and the user schema is going to have an email of type string and a password of type string again. Next, create a model from the schema and export it. So module.exports is equal to mongoose.model. We're going to call this model user. The schema is going to be user schema. And then the collection in the database is going to be the user's collection that we created in the last video in MLab. So now I have a mongoose model that can be used to create, read, update, and delete documents in the database. The only remaining task is to connect to the database that has been created. Now all database requests are going to be managed in the API route. So the database connection happens in the api.js file. Let's begin by requiring mongoose and then declaring the connection string to the database. And what is the connection string? We need to find that out from MLab. So go back to MLab and for the database events DB, they provide the connection string. So you can see that to connect using a driver via the standard MongoDB URI, we need to use this connection string. So copy it, and then go back to Visual Studio Code and paste it. Now instead of the DB user, I'm going to fill in user Vishwas. This was the user that we created for the database. And again, the password for the user. This was password Vishwas. The next step, let's connect to the database. So mongoose.connect. The first argument is the database string, so db. And then the second argument is a callback function. The callback function is going to give an error if the connection was not successful. So if there was an error, I'm going to log that to the console, so console.error. If there was no error, then we are going to log to the console connected to MongoDB. So if I restart the server now, node server, if the connection was successful, you should see the message connected to MongoDB. All right, now that the connection has been established with the database, I will show you how to code the RESTful APIs and also test them using Postman. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.